everyone, this is Mike. I thought I'd put together a quick demonstration and example for registering your MuleSoft application with Azure Active Directory so that you can make calls to Azure REST APIs, perhaps service management or uh, any of the services in there directly from MuleSoft. So I'll show you how this all works. Right, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna register for the app in Azure Active Directory, create an app secret, grant API permissions. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So within Azure Active Directory, you have app registrations. I've already registered the application and received the client ID. Um, however, new registrations, you'll click new and just give your application a name and you'll receive a client ID. And after you get the client ID, then you uh, click and drill into the application. You can see your ID there as well. You'll create a client secret. Client secret. Um, you can see I've created a few client secrets here. After you create a secret, it'll show you what the secret is, and then you'll need that along with the client ID uh, to place into the Mule app. We'll look at that in a bit. Um, so there's that. And then the last thing is to set the permissions so that the app has appropriate credentials. Um, you can see that uh, I've granted the app uh, to a key vault, to service management, and to the graph. Um, it's as simple as just saying add permission and then choosing the service that you'd want access to and then having that, that, that permission granted to that service. So it's really just that simple. So then after you get that done, um, we're going to take those settings and put, put them in the mule. Now everything that I just showed you, uh, there's a good walkthrough here at this link that I'll play, paste into the video notes uh, on how to register your client app. Um, a lot of good information um, how to go through that with this link too um, and then some of the services you can call if you've got a registered app uh, you can call the key vault service um, and such so um, a lot of things you can do at that point and I'll, I'll put those link there those links in the video video notes okay so let's switch over to postman I now have postman running um, on a local host to do the OAuth example with the client ID secret and such and so it returns back a data set this is the flow that was executed uh, let's start with our configuration properties the client ID will go there you'll you'll paste your client secret there the endpoint URL for authorization is here um, that's gonna have your your subscription ID in there you'll find that within Azure Active Directory under endpoints if you select endpoints you'll see there is the authorization URL for, for your directory. So that's where you'll find it. Um, and then the APIs you're gonna call into, again, you'll find those listed in the API documentation. So if you're gonna call um, a Git REST API, then that's the API that you'll call right there. Um, and the scope depends on the, the service. So management services or vault services um, and the token creation process will um, takes that parameter in fact. So let's look at that. Um, so uh, just the simple example, which you'll find the code to this in GitHub, and there'll be a link posted for it. Um, we'll create a credential request body, uh, pass in the ID, the secret, and the resource that we're accessing. Um, then that will get posted uh, as application uh, that'll get posted to that authorization URL um, and then we'll receive back um, a, a token, an access token that we'll build the authorization header around. That uh, auth access token is authorized into that resource and so we'll pass that token in the header, the authorization header, into the API call. Here's a call that I'm going to list all the subscriptions within within my account so that's what that would return and that's it that's the end of the flow so it, it runs fairly quick OAuth send goes through the process returns the subscriptions and that's that's basically it um, so you can get the example and the project in the link below so thanks for watching and let me know what else you'd like to see anytime have a great day